This way, my dear. I've something to show you. Hop in. Where are we going? One of Starrick's workshops, where they build weapons for his army. When the world is full of nasty things, we must tear those things apart. A man like Starrick builds a world around his own desires. And so we lose the ability to dream for ourselves. Therefore, we must strike. Precisely. No matter the cost, every second of hesitation allows Starrick time to build. Slow down now! Slow down! Funk in you. You must see the potential, dear Jacob. This workshop is one of Sterics. Set the dynamite and let's blow it to atoms. Together. Enough. I'm coming over. That's it. I'm coming over there. I'm coming for you. Assassin. I recommend Assassin! That you stop struggling. <laughs> It would be wise to 
That's one. There. Set. And done. Rigged up. Perfect. Let's put our plan into action. Stand back. Ready. Wait. Whatever for? There are children in there. Jacob, my dear. Starrick uses child labor to manufacture goods. We must put an end to his production line. But not like this. Why not? I can do whatever I damn well please. Soon. You will understand what it is to be free, as I am. Light them up, boys! No! 
What the hell are you doing? We're not playing games anymore, Roth. No, we're not. Gift, sir, from Mr. Roth. You should be warned, Mr. Fry, that when Roth is angry with one, he generally brings suffering to many. My dearest Jacob, alas, it seems our adventures together have come to a close. Although our time together was brief, it's left a lasting mark. I wish you well in all your future endeavors. Cordially, Maxwell. Post scriptum. I'm putting on a show this evening. All of London will be there. Enclosed, please find your invitation. Young friend, today's papers carry a rebuttal of Mr. Owen's slanderous and ignorant remarks about my work. However, I'm feeling quite like a fossil today. Would you be a dear and get me a copy of the newspaper?
my life. Yes. Now here's a question for you. Why would you attack a newsboy? A man paid me and my mates to force newsboys to display this leaflet. Here, yeah, take the bloody thing and leave me alone. This spells trouble for Mr. Darwin. Thank goodness you're here. Impossible as it may sound, spring Hill Jack has returned. We need to do something before the unthinkable happens. I thought we'd already dealt with this nonsense. There may be more to this than we originally thought.
Thanks to you, the Ghost Club's reputation has grown tremendously. We are a beacon of reason in a world beguiled by superstition. But I believe we have encountered one genuine spirit. Can you be certain? That's the question. One might surmise that the spirits that haunt us are simply our deepest fears, manifested as apparitions. Shame. I've always wanted to see a ghost or a goblin. I propose a toast to the Ghost Club and the virtuous twins that have aided it. Miss Evie and Mr. Jacob. Cheers. Cheers. Then let's proceed. Mesdames et Messieurs, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Alhambra Music Hall. Tonight, we have, for one night only, a very special performance of Corvus the Trickster. While some of the effects may be visceral and highly disturbing, do not be alarmed, my good people. Fear not. This is a purest form of entertainment. Tonight's performance immortalizes and is for the benefit of a young fellow very near and dear to my heart. Any concerns or complaints may be addressed to him. <laughs> Jacob, dear boy, tonight is for you. I'll be serving you this evening, gentlemen. You're still here, love. Last time, I swear, you nearly poisoned us. Scene two, stand by. Let me out! I need to lower the grid for the show! I think I can skip for it here. Not on your life, 
Mary. Figures. Mr. Roth says there's a big surprise in store for everyone. We have a volunteer. A big round of applause for this brave, brave man. Our volunteer is about to die for you, Jacob. Uh, what a brave stage like that. You lucky people are no, about to witness this about. gentleman being fired upon at point blank range. Our performer will hit several targets placed around his head. Wish Mr. Roth was paying. Exciting, is it not? Looking for the lavatory. Thanks. As we prepare for the next turn. Oh my! Are your principles drifting, dear? The flavor intensifies the second time. The hunt now a search for want rather than need. Don't you play tricks on me. as to what this one concerns, my friends. Our courageous participant hasn't even flinched. Standing a few feet away, 
Our performer expertly throws his knives at me. Slicing it in two. Right, you are, Mary. I ate this godforsaken job. Will, Will you your you won't won't he? Like. If he's not wrath. Leaves a strange taste in your mouth, doesn't it? Like eating pork when expecting venison. We weren't quite expecting that. How thrilling it is when life surprises us. I am not finished just yet. Stay right where you are, and the show will continue shortly. You prefer tragedy to comedy. I knew you had exquisite taste. That's a daisy, Tom Watchley. <laughs> I hope you have enjoyed your evening so far, ladies and gentlemen. I know I have. Now, before our final act, I would like to toast all you brave people who joined us tonight to celebrate life and death. Go on! Toast them! <laughs> your move, Jacob, my dear! Burn! 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 Don't hide from me, darling. Why did you do it? All of it. What? Snap a baby crow's neck between my thumb and forefinger. Slice to bits the ones you deem innocent. Keep the world in its divine, manic state. For the same reason, I do anything. Why not?
I'll never make it out alive. has bred disorder. The sea rises to flood the pubs and extinguish the street lamps. Our city will die. Tupinay has failed. Lucy has failed. Brudenell Elliotson. Pearl. All have gone into the night. It's up to me now. The assassins have brought nature's fury into our homes. Men have become monsters. Barreling toward us, teeth out. Our civilization must survive this onslaught. prevent a return of the Dark Ages. I will start anew. London must be reborn. The Peace of Eden is under Buckingham Palace. We've got all we need. Let's start planning our infiltration. Hold on, better to get visual verification. If we're going to move, we need to be 100% sure. We'll only get one shot before Otso Berg crashes down on us. Gotta agree with Sean. We'll position ourselves near the palace, but we'll wait for you to sync the genetic data before we move. It's all up to you, Initiate. You're late. Staric is making his move. The Peace of Eden is somewhere inside Buckingham Palace. Let him have it. I've seen your handiwork across the city. Perhaps you should trust my judgment. I've been killing Staric's henchmen. What have you been doing? Let's ask Henry, shall we? I have been repairing your mistakes. Too much haste is too little speed. Don't you call father at me. That's Plato. And I am sorry this doesn't involve anything you can destroy. Father was right. He never approved of your methods. Father is dead! Enough! I have just received word from my spies. At the palace ball tonight, Staric plans to steal the Peace of Eden and then eliminate all the heads of church and state. Once more for all time's sake. And then we're finished. Agreed. So what's the plan? Such an... Unexpected delight to visit you both. What is the news on the street? Mrs. Disraeli, we have discovered that there is something inside Buckingham Palace that could threaten the... <laughs> what my sister's failing to say is that we require entrance into the ball tonight. <laughs> Impossible! Even if there were any invitation cards remaining, which there are not, uh, someone of your lowly station... If that damn fool Gladstone is attending this evening, they can have my card. Perfect. Then I'll go alone. Mrs. Disraeli, if you'd be kind enough to inform my darling brother of the location of the Gladstone's residence, perhaps he could use his considerable skills. 
to commandeer their carts. <laughs> what fun! Did you hear that, Dizzy? We're going to pinch the Gladstone's invitations. Thank you for volunteering me, sweet sister. Oh, a pleasure, brother, dearest. Now, Mrs. Disraeli, if you would excuse me, I must visit with the Maharaja. It occurs to me that he may have a second set of plans to a certain vault. We are not apes. If the circumstances were not so grave, I'd compliment the artist on the wonderful caricature. They are fools if they believe they can stop... They are fools if they believe they can stop progress by printing leaflets and killing newsboys. We must find out who is behind this propaganda before more innocents are...
Sort of scuffle over there. <laughs> Thank you. 